Um, going back to the casino business itself, it's it's fantastic writing. Just kind of what Mario Puzo really um, does well is he really throws you into the stories. There's a scene in there where the previous owner of the Xanadu, Alfred Gronevelt, um, who you may recognize from the book uh, Fools Die, he is, you know, he's spending his last day wheeling around the, the gaming floor watching the players gamble. You really get a sense that you're kind of walking with him, maybe even pushing his wheelchair there. So that's what I enjoyed about it. Um, you know, I like I kind of like the the details of the the luxury aspects of you know you, you hear about these mansions and these glamorous uh, casinos and hotels and whatnot. It really makes you want to um, <laughs> take every single penny that you have saved up and take a trip there. You know, like if there was a real place. So another thing with the Mafia family, it kind of, the Clericuzio family, what separates it from the Corleone family, um, whereas in the Corleone family is very powerful crime family that has a lot of context, the Clericuzio family, the way it's described and the way they're just kind of everywhere and that they can kind of touch anyone gives them that... Sort of, it, it kind of resembles the high table from the John Wick movie series. This kind of almost um, omnipresent, all knowing crime syndicate that's just impossible to get away from. There's a certain aspect where they still recruit soldiers, and it's called the Bronx Enclave. <laughs> like this whole neighborhood where there's. Um, hire soldiers and they give them jobs, but they also make them shooters if they need to be. Um, so, Cross is so kind of going back to Cross. I know I'm jumping around a bit. Going back to Cross, who is the main character, Cross ends up, um, he wants to get involved in the movie business. He loves the casino business, but again, he wants to be his own man and really kind of. He's born with a lot of advantages. You know, he stands to inherit this casino. His father's rich and influential. And, but he, he just wants to be his own guy. He wants to be kind of like self-made in a way. Like he wants to have that, you know, he, he wants to prove to people that he can do something on his own. And he gets involved with, with the movies and he meets this actress called Athena. And Athena is actually being harassed by her ex-husband, Boz Scanit. Because that's a name. <laughs> that's the that's the only odd part of the book is the guy's is there's a guy named Boz Scanit. I've never met anybody named Boz. Um and he's stalking her. And Cross meets Athena and they begin to fall in love. So it has that little romance to it. Um, but there's a haunting past in the family. Unlike uh, uh, Don Domenico's sons, Giorgio, Petey, and Vincent, who have all really moved on with their lives following the war, Rosemary is... I would say she... It, it, it seems how she described the book that she's bipolar, which was, um, through trauma, if that makes sense. And, uh, maybe she's suffering from postpartum, uh, no, I'm sorry, not postpartum, post-traumatic stress disorder because her, during the war with the Centidio Cramp family, her husband, uh, Dante's father was killed before he was even born. So he never met his father. And that that is sort of the the haunting the dark family secret. I don't want to get in, I don't want to get into that too much because I really want people to really read the book and see for themselves. Um, you know, it. I guess the reason why I prefer why I have to put this book above The Godfather is because you know that it's. 
it's more it's definitely more fictional that makes sense which i know is is odd to say because in the godfather you know hollywood producer wakes up with a horse head in his bed you know i just like how um the the, the clara cuzio fa- crime family is described just this this like a step above the mafia really and um you know, I enjoy how it's, uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, try, I'm trying to think the words of, again, it, I, I like how it just describes the different processes of the casino business, the movie industry, and how this Moffat family really wormed its way into everything, and how they're just able to kind of just control everything from the shadows. Um, there's a lot of action in it. I would say a little bit more than The Godfather. And highly romanticized. I mean, everything is incredibly romantic. You almost look at these guys as if they're the good guys, in a way. I'd say Cross is close to being a good guy. Um, And it it gives you just a, a whole multitude of different characters to like and dislike. And... I really recommend checking it out. Again, if you if you think I'm kind of going back and forth on it, uh, again, this is my first one. So I want to appreciate you guys for bearing with me. Um, again, the book is called The Last Don. Really gives you an insight into kind of like the seedier, sleazier, more cunning, uh, backstabbing, cutthroat practices held by the casino and the movie industries which may or may not reflect uh regular life i'm not that well versed in either industry to i don't have inside knowledge or anything like that um so i mean for for all we know they're all just you know very moral people except for harvey weinstein uh he was found guilty anyway so yeah enjoy (laughs) enjoy the uh i hope you enjoyed the video um, check it out, Last Don. You can find it pretty much anywhere. Um, and if you enjoyed the video, please send me a subs- please subscribe to me, and I will talk to you later.